Hello! My nuclear craft tutorial series. Alright, so... I've not yet gotten a comment back from mod report and that stuff, so I just... You might notice there's a fusion reactor over there. Just completely ignore that I'm doing an experiment. But that will be included in the fusion reactor episode of YouTube. It's like, still a long ways away. Do a quick through basic machines first. Alright. So this is basic machines. This, this is the basic machine. And you're going to need these to get your So here is the heavy duty crafting table. This is one of the things you're going to want to get. It's not actually necessary for these building stuff. But if you're playing this this mod alone with no other mods, why would you do that? This is kind of meant to be used with other mods. But in my opinion. But you would actually need this to have a power source. To so use the Burner. The effect for the turns here with the burner machine. So, there's three categories of power for this machine. We've got burner, and electric, and nuclear, if you can tell by the little radiation sign there. Alright, so. Back on top here. So here's the heavy duty workspace. It's made like so. We need tough alloy ingots, basic plating. Basic plating is just some lead, charcoal, pretty easy. Tough alloy is silver, iron, lead, crushed coal or charcoal dust. If you have a Crush coal, that's charcoal dust is from an uh, apple milk tea. And universal reactant, which is made crushed lapis, crush, uh, sugar, and redstone. And that will make you heavy duty workspace. But you can make a whole lot of stuff here. You've got machine things, reactors, dual cells. Cells, speed blocks, which kind of makes sense. Vision controllers. I heard of this blast resistant block. It'll probably be miscellaneous. Episode. I, I think I might have updated this mod recently. I haven't seen a lot of this stuff before. Hey, interesting. Alright, so that's one of the things you might want. It's kind of like the Rotary Craft. Oh, I forgot what his name was. The little brick crafting paper that you get with Rotary Craft, where it's used to craft my stuff. And, alright, so let's get to the basic machine. So, this here is the furnace and stuff. The metal furnace. I think you guys probably get what the furnace, furnace I do. I actually know if that's a plural term. This furnace. And you can just do the same stuff you'll do in any furnace in here, and it's just coal powered. Pretty basic. Although I do think this is a bit more efficient than the other one the vanilla furnace. Alright, and here we get to the crusher. The crusher essentially is like a lot of the crushers in the mods and uh, stuff like that and it takes your ore and crushes it into dust and it doubles it. You can also crush ingots too. Diamonds and tough alloy. This is going to be very important if you're going to go into this mod. You can completely forget the metal furnace if you want to do you want to go through this as fast as possible because this is really not necessary and it's not going to be long before you get metal crusher and 
Yeah. Pretty much that's all has to be said about them. I have some stuff to check how fast it goes over here. Alright, so we've got a potato. Yeah, that goes much faster than the vanilla crafting table, and it's also much more efficient. In here for the crusher. Well, it's definitely faster than the, the macerator from uh, Industrial Craft. Apparently, this is ore dictionary, ore dictionary ing into iron dust from uh, Apple Milk D. It's a pretty cool graphic, actually. So let's see how we make these. Metal furnace is just iron plating, which is iron ingots surrounding a iron block, and that gives you 12 iron plating. Yeah, and that was 9 iron plating for the metal furnace. So this recipe should make you one iron furnace. Crusher is pretty much the same as the iron furnace, but it needs this convection powered grinder which is wood, cobble, flint. Pretty easy. But for a second, this is giving four iron. This is actually pretty close to finishing. Right now we get to the electric equipment, and here is the DUI. And uh, for a long time, I actually thought that this was pulling off more power. This thing was always pulling off the same amount of power it was using. It, but apparently, these wires have to charge up. That's not part of the mod. And yeah, the generator over there can keep up. That's half the reason why I built this over here. Alright, and so here's the electric crusher and the electric furnace. Pretty much the same, except for one minor detail. Not so minor detail. You see an S and an E here. This stands for speed, and this stands for energy. Now you might have seen over here, these two things here. These here are upgrades. Make them like so. Alright, so the speed upgrade is iron plating surrounded by crushed lapis. An energy upgrade is iron is iron plating surrounded by un universal reactant. I believe we covered that. And basically the speed increases how fast it goes and then the energy increases how it uses its energy. It, cre it increases its efficiency. So I'm going to put the two in the crusher. So I'm going to grab a potato, a stack of potatoes, and a stack of a stack of iron. Well, not the correct thing. I guess if you were making French fries, that'd be the correct thing. Just see for comparison how fast the two are. This one going pretty fast. I don't really see much of a difference between the two. And this is um, probably about the same speed as that was. Alright, now we get to the nuclear furnace. This is essentially just a nuclear reactor furnace. Not much more to be said about this. Except for the fact that it is crazy fast. And its fuel is actually pretty easy to make. Alright, and I didn't actually cover the recipe for these two machines. Alright. And so electric pressure is is a normal crusher with iron plating in the diagonals and redstone in the rest of the spaces. And the electric furnace is pretty much the same as the crusher, just with a metal furnace in the center. 
in the nuclear furnace is basic plating and crushed obsidian. Basic plating, we've already covered that. Alright. So that's pretty much all for this episode. So until next time, this is Pop Tattoo signing off.